Sabrina Carpenter just went too far? Wait, what? Recently, Sabrina what? Carpenter has been under fire because of how different she has been acting recently, or at least in the eyes of her fans, how she's been acting. Because according to them, she has gotten a little bit too sad kind of hitting on that side of jojo siwa in their eyes at least doing things like basically getting her back blown now on stage in front of thousands of people and it has made a lot of people upset but i'm gonna break down everything that's been going on starting from the very beginning of so i i don't know that much about sabrina carpenter you guys see what i'm saying but hey man if she wants to do that that's her that's her show that's her performance actually how old is sabrina carpenter let's look this up it's the first thing that pops up she's 25 so she's not even that old i thought she was actually younger than that but uh, 25 is eight. you see what i'm saying let's keep watching who even is sabrina carpenter if you are unaware she is a disney star funny enough we're having a trend here after sky jackson with these disney kids going out and doing wild things apparently but she was on a show called girl meets world which was a sequel to one of disney's most popular shows boy meets world it hey ran yo. for about three seasons and sabrina carpenter was one of the main characters in the show and a lot of people have criticisms about her back then as well during that time they felt like the cast wasn't as good as role models as they should have been to the young and personal kids watching which is funny because that's kind of the same sentiment that's being echoed right now by a bunch of people the only difference so the thing with the disney show is is a lot of these people they come into power right and, excuse me when they come into power and they have a lot of money and they're like on the one of the biggest shows on disney right they get a lot of connections we can see it with selena gomez you see what i'm saying on the nickelodeon side we saw it with ariana grande and there's actually, there's a couple other stars that I forgot. You see what I'm saying? That went came from Disney shows and they got huge, right? So the thing is, once you're this famous star and you're around all these famous people and these people with a lot of money, you're more influenced to see one stuff that you're not supposed to see, things that are given that you're not supposed to see. You see what I'm saying? And people like they party at a young age. So they, they're partying, they're like basically hanging out with adults at a young age, right? So I feel like in my personal opinion, um, people, celebrities, influencers, actors are more prone to go to rehab and more prone to have problems, right? Because also if you have a lot of money, you have a lot of yes men around you. You have a lot of people, there are people that say that try to fight you, but like you are your own business you see what i'm saying you own you have so much money that usually you don't have people that like <laughs> give you a hard time and say no you see what i'm saying so and that's also not good because if people are always saying yes i'll give you this i'll give you this i'll give you this what does it cause it, it, it can cause what abuse on certain other things you see what i'm saying substances so but let's keep going is, this is about her music and how she performs in front of stages and that was just about her acting but when it comes to her music she had been doing it for a while now even before she was in the show girl meets world and okay. continued after the show had ended so it only makes sense that she would try to make this a career during that time she had dropped some songs and then even an ep to an album and that boosted her a lot a lot of people actually really enjoyed her music considering that she was already well known and mm. you could already see her sing a little bit when it came to girl meets world but now now, during these times she's doing literally the same thing except her performances are touching a little bit of a line according to some people where they have performances where she's on a bed doing things like this on stage let's see Yo, what the? Now let me be on. <laughs> Yo, what the? F Maybe I don't know. I don't like. I feel like Sabrina Carpenter fans. I feel like it's demographic from towards women more because I don't know. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe just, she she probably does have a lot of male fans, but I feel like she has more female fans, right? And I feel like she's trying to get that older demographic. Like, yeah, she has a lot of younger fans, but I feel like she wants that older crowd. And she she has all this stuff in her show. She's wearing, like, very, 
I'll say intimate clothing wear. You see what I'm saying? It's a little weird for me. I'm not, this is not, she, I don't listen to that, that type of music, but it's kind of crazy that they put the drapes down, right? They put the drapes down and they had her go in that position. I was like, hey, yo, like what? Like, that's kind of insane. But hey, maybe it's for appeal. Maybe she she's a good marketer. She wants people like me and other people on TikTok and Instagram and YouTube to react to this to get more publicity. You see what I'm saying? There's always marketing strategies, but like I feel like it kind of went a little too far. Especially if she has a younger audience. Like, why why is she doing that, bro? I know she wants a Democrat. Like, she wants an older audience because the older audience is more prone to spend more money. But at the same time, come on, bro. It's a little weird, bro. It's a little weird. But let's keep watching. Honest for a second. That type of stuff is crazy. And personally, I wouldn't go to a show to watch something like that. Or probably listen to her music. It's not my cup of tea. You feel me? And I really didn't even watch that much Disney Channel when I was growing up. If I'm going to be honest. But if she wants to go out here and get on stage not actually youtube because that would be against your guidelines and exactly. i would never show something like that this is obviously not what's really going on but if she wants to demonstrate that or use that as a way to demonstrate what she wants to do with her music who actually cares and the people that are upset are probably like parents just being really mad and if i'm gonna be honest if you're a parent maybe you should parent your child instead of thinking hey they like this thing i'm just gonna go and take them there and then when the thing is very bad for a kid be mad at the person doing it instead of them and if you're a grown adult being upset about what another grown adult is doing with their life, I'm gonna be honest with you, indeed.com, you can hit that at any point in time. Hon so I, I agree with him. Like, we can't really judge her because, like I said, she owns, she's a millionaire. She runs her own production company, most likely. She runs her own, her like, basically, she has a lot of people watching her and stuff. She's doing her thing. If she wants to do that type of stuff, let her, guys, right? But at the same time, at the same time, She's doing it to the public. The public will always have an opinion. It does not matter if you don't want them to have an opinion. If you have live shows, the public will always have an opinion on what you're doing, how you're doing it. You, If you're making videos on YouTube, videos on TikTok, that is for the public to comment. You see what I'm saying? Even if you turn the comments off, that's still you are still going to get judged. Even on Twitter. Even on every social media platform, you're still going to get judged. So... I, and I feel like some content creators, they can't take that much hate because it breaks them down, but it's just part of the job. If, Like I said, if you're a music star, actor, influencer, YouTuber, TikToker, Instagrammer, it don't matter. You're always going to have people judging you. It's just how it is. It's uh, literally, I've, I've gotten used to it now. I'm like, okay, man, you want to make fun of me? That's cool, bro. Keep, <laughs> keep engaging. Keep making me more money. It don't even matter. You see what I'm saying? Honestly, it's it's actually a really good website. Personally, had to use it in the past. Need to get my bag up. Just saying, but you can use it. It's pretty easy. Anybody yep. of any type of intelligence could hit up and go on there. But that wasn't where it all ended. There were actually more clips as well. What the heck? Now, it's pretending to give head what? to a mic insane a little bit. Some might even call it crazy. Ah. Uh wait i didn't even see it like what the heck see even a little bit odd and if you're pulling up to a show to just see an artist perform and have fun on stage then it would make sense and if you're a child a little teeny bopper and you go and see a girl basically pretend to slob on some then i can only blame your parents not i do too there's probably parental like advisements on her shows they probably say like 13 18 plus maybe i don't know maybe they don't have that i have no idea but at the same time bro like I, I'm, I'm betting you it's a marketing thing i'm betting you one the the audience gets excited you see what i'm saying it's all these people watching and cheering for her and it's a good marketing strategy people are going to record this and they are going to talk about it like you got to understand these people that are in these bigger positions they're a lot smarter than you think they're a lot smarter than you think um, they, they plan everything behind the scenes they have a lot of business deals. They're a lot of them are marketing geniuses because they're able to stand out from the crowd. You see what I'm saying? So like, 
in my personal opinion, I feel like it's just a marketing ploy. It's starting to look like a marketing ploy the more and more I watch it. But I might be wrong. I might be wrong. Shoot, because no one can predict that you're going to come to a concert and see something like that, if I'm being honest. And the fact that she did that is kind of just up to her because it's her show. She gets to do whatever she wants and y'all paid to be there. So y'all put money into her pockets while watching her do something apparently y'all don't even want to see. So I can only blame you as a person if you're upset about this. And in all reality, it's just parents not wanting to to be parents if your child is out there watching stuff or doing things that they shouldn't be doing then maybe actually mm. get up take the ipad out of their hands and be a parent for once imagine pulling up to a show like this as an adult seeing something like this and just complaining online instead of either a leaving making sure your child doesn't consume any of this content until either at a mature age or just going back to complaining online and literally doing nothing about but i feel like i said that does her shows let's let's look Right. Carpenter. Dude, my controller's in my way. Oops. Sabrina Carpenter shows. Like, does she has does it give any Okay, so does it give any warnings for buying concert tickets? Does it say you have to be 18 plus? Like, I don't think it does. You see what I'm saying? Let's go with her ticket master. Sweet. See more info. See, under 16 must be accompanied by an adult. Ground for sitting 14 plus. So it's like 14, 14 and above, guys. It's 14 above. So there is kind of like a, a warning. Like you need to be accompanied by an adult if you're on the lower four, 16 plus. So it's basically kind of saying this show is for, like they don't want you going by yourself either. But it's basically you need to be with an adult. You need to have an adult around you. So... If the parents are complaining, it kind of does give you that your parent needs to, you need to be with an adult if you are under the ages of 16 and under. So it is kind of giving that, it's kind of giving you that warning that there will be explicit stuff because you need an adult present with you. I feel like at the movies now, can if you're for certain age ratings, you can go to the movies by yourself, right? I don't know. Maybe they changed it, but like parents can't be complaining. That kind of basically says it when you look at the more info. I found it in what? Like. 30 seconds i found it in 30 seconds so like all these people complaining you see what i'm saying ah uh, they they can't really complain bro they can't i'm telling you bro all these ticket promoters and all these shows they have to put all this stuff or they can get sued it's it's part of the game bro it's part of not losing money sometimes they get sued no matter what but i feel like they put that stuff on the ticket so like they're protected about it and then telling the artists that they need to switch what they're doing so that you don't have to do anything that'd be the laziest parent in the world because you're not at least even doing the bare minimum at, at that point literally you just have to leave and just tell them they can't watch something and if they get around that then again uh well that's something that you have to handle like with me i cuss in some of my videos sometimes i bleep it out sometimes i don't depending on how i feel and if you're not allowed to watch videos that have cursing in them then you wouldn't be allowed to watch me but that's not my fault if you end up clicking on the video your parent hears it and then they're mad and now they're dming me talking about some you need to bleep out every cuss word you need to stay family friendly well hey guess what fuck you no i i agree they're, they're, okay so like your parents should be in control of what you watch online they should have some a lot of these youtube platform they have like youtube kids they have age restriction stuff like they have stuff that's restricted like they put stuff but the internet, like, you can find anything on the internet, even if you have the age-restricted stuff. But, like, they even have internet tools, right? They have all this stuff. Even, like I said, social media has these adult tools that prevent your child from seeing certain things. But I'm, I have realized when I was a kid, the internet was, it was still pretty big, but it wasn't as big as it now. Like, children today, when they, when they first, when they're infants, they play with iPads, bro. They freaking play with iPads, and they see a whole bunch of stuff. When I was a kid, we didn't have iPads, bro. You know what we had? We had Game Boys. We had, um, we didn't have iPhones. We had like flip phones and stuff. Like, I'm starting to realize that like these kids nowadays, they're getting access to so much information, so much things. And it can be inappropriate. It can be appropriate things. It could be anything, bro. And they have so, they, like before when you were 18, you used to, or, or no, not 18, when you would go in the fifth grade, you would learn about the body. You see what I'm saying? Now, a kid can just look that up at the age of four. It doesn't even matter. He's going to know more than the teacher. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Hey, sometimes they do. Um, so, like, the access to the internet, and you can find so much information at a young age. You can find so many things. 
that are not appropriate, I feel like, I don't know, I feel like at this point, it's kind of hard to hide it from your child. I feel like you could warn your child about certain things. You could help them. And and I feel like you need to like, there there's, there's tools to prevent that. But there's still always going to be ways when they go to school. Sometimes schools don't have the best protections. Um, I remember when I was in school, there was ways to get around the protections. There's probably still ways to get around the protections on their iPhones and stuff. So I don't know. They, I feel like the government, they're trying to do that. Some stuff that you need to be over the age of 18 to access. But it's not a lot of things. I don't know. Maybe I'm rambling right now. But at the same time, bro, like he said, it's not our fault as the content creator is the parents fault so yeah i don't you know why because this is my page and i run this whole like a dictatorship and if you're upset about that then you should make it sure your child does not watch me because it conflicts with what you value and what you want your child to consume and still we're not finished because there were more clips what the heck <laughs> now again with she didn't even do that much. Come on, bro. Are we really gonna are we really gonna judge her for doing that? Come on. This obviously we're looking at this and we're all thinking the same thing. She's bouncing. And it's supposed to demonstrate on something. It's just not there. And please fill in the blanks yourself because I don't want this video to get demonetized. But even if you hear the actual song that she's doing this to, that's inherently as well and that's, and that's just how it's been recently with a lot of things when it comes to media i mean obviously because that's what gets a lot of people's attention and that's what helps boost a lot of things so i'm not even surprised that she's also doing this as well along with the fact that she's an adult and can do whatever she wants because mm. she has a platform to do it and people are obviously supporting this type of actions along with supporting her music so people like seeing this people want more of it so she keeps bringing it to them and if your child at some point was bamboozled it's a thing that maybe she was amazing angel sent by god himself because she was on disney channel and didn't actually listen to her music then that's not on the child i mean if they continue to listen to the music because they liked it then it's only up to you as a but what's the last okay let, okay let's do a little bit more research when's the last time serena carpenter was on disney bro let's look this up uh shows uh tv shows so girl me so 2017 bro in 2017 that was whew, holy crap that was eight years ago so if these kids are watching this show at eight they're probably like what 16 17 they're appropriate age right yeah bro that she was on disney channel eight years ago at this point a lot of those children are starting to turn into adults right in my personal opinion so there shouldn't be a problem if they watched her as a kid and they grow up and they're watching her now yeah, she can be a little bit of a bad influence, but I feel like it's part of her marketing, part of her routine, part of the dem the demographic that she's marketing towards. Like I said before, I don't know if you guys understand what I'm trying to say. I'm trying to say in simple terms, it's just like basically when you're a artist, you have a demographic that you want to you want to please all demographics, but at the same time, you got a certain demographic that watches you and usually it's younger people for a certain artist, um, but I feel like her stuff is a little more mature. Like she, she talks in her songs. I'm not a complete expert, but like she talks about what the S word. You see what I'm saying? She talks about other stuff, kissing, dating. Um, I might be wrong about that, but like, what do parent like? What do parents expect when you're talking about this stuff in songs? Like she is not a Disney star anymore. She is 25 years old. She is a grown woman. What is a grown woman going to talk about? So if the, like I said, if these parents are getting mad at Sabrina Carpenter for her doing this type of stuff, they, they need to look in the mirror. You see what I'm saying? I don't know. I keep, I keep saying that you guys always say, I always say, you see what I'm saying? I need to stop that. I need to stop that. Let's keep watching parent to stop them or to do something about it after you find out it's something that you don't think your child should be consuming now overall do i want to sit here and watch performances like this well as a straight guy i'm gonna be honest obviously i wouldn't care to watch a performance like this it wouldn't affect me in any way i wouldn't mind those cat and other artists have done way worse performances if we're even being honest <laughs> the heck? 
see now if you're upset at something like this it's gonna get to a point because i've seen more crazier things by just scrolling on instagram real tiktok pick any platform okay i'm gonna say this it is kind of crazy that she's doing that you see what i'm saying it is unfortunate but at the same time like hey man she's doing her thing it's part of her dance performance it's part of her appeal to her audience so and he is right there are worse things on tiktok there are worse things on instagram especially on instagram and twitter it's it's bad bro it's super bad hey we've seen a lot of worse stuff so if we're judging her for certain she's not selling an only cans you see what i'm saying she's not selling that so i don't know what is your opinion guys do you think it's appropriate do you guys agree with me you guys just dis disagree with me i think i rambled too much in the video today but i don't know guys size x because that's literally just the platform to do the most wildest things and yet they are all worse than this something as apparently as a performance as this is if you would look at any comments anything on x twitter anyone talking about her even whole articles written about how they feel like she has changed and become more and even if that is the case where you were bro who cares she's older bro even if people say oh she's changed from a disney star bro that was eight years ago she is 25. She's almost 30. In five years, she's going to be 30 years old, man. The woman, the woman's getting older. She will not, she's like, I feel like people have this bubble. They have this image of her being a Disney star and they want her to be a Disney star for the rest of her life. No, bro. Like she is, she's going to get older. She's going to grow up. She's going to have, she's going to like different things. It's a completely different story from, from eight years ago, seven years ago. And people need to understand that. I just, it just kind of like pisses me off when people just have you in this box and they just think that you're this type of person. And I feel like she's been open. I feel like I've seen interviews too. She's been open about all that type of stuff, how she's more explicit. You see what I'm saying? But I don't know. What do you guys think in the comment section? You were once bamboozled into listening to her music and you thought it was really tame, really nice and appropriate for a child and now you see the switch that she's making, then maybe it's time to say, hey, we're not going to listen to this person anymore because I don't like how they are mm. talking about certain acts and you shouldn't be hearing it. And actually, it's that simple to just parent when you are exactly. a parent. But overall, if you're being upset about this as a parent or as even a grown adult, then one, if you're an adult, I need you to actually go get a job, a hobby, anything. Take up pottery, maybe something to occupy your time because this is not something that should be even be worth thinking about or getting angry about to you and if you're a parent then exactly. i need you to actually stop snorting glue obviously that was hey, a joke too. i don't advise anyone to do that and i think that is very dangerous but moral of the story being parent your kids and if you think differently or just want to tell me how you feel then the best way to do that would be the comment section down below because it's so i'm gonna say i'm gonna say this shout out to novelty if you guys don't know who Novelty is, I'm going to make this smaller. My bad. Shout out to Novelty. If you guys don't know who Novelty is, please subscribe, turn on your notifications, and like the video. But like he said, what do you guys think? What do you guys think about the situation? you think I was wrong? Do you guys think I was right? Do you guys think that what you, if, if you guys disagree with me at any point, put it in the comment section. You see what I'm saying? I will have to say this, though. I will have to say this. We all have to realize something. We all have to realize something. Don't forget to watch, or don't forget to sub to Novelty. I'm going to say that one more time. Nah, I was just playing a joke. But guys, my motto is subscribe to Novelty before you guys subscribe to me. But if you guys would like, I'm going to start streaming on Twitch. You see what I'm saying? Here's my Twitch. Um, Yeah, guys, give me a follow. You see what I'm saying? We're going to start, we're going to start streaming this more. If you guys would like your comments to be in the videos, be a participant when I'm actually like reacting live you guys could actually ask me questions and i would repeat them and answer them so if you guys want to be part of the youtube videos sub to my twitch um but thank you guys so much i'm gonna say shout out to novelty one more time but if you guys would like give me a sub or a like you guys can you don't have to but yeah guys this is gonna be the end of the video sorry for mumbling i'm a little tired um yeah peace bye guys